once he learned the piano, that man, he learned the drums, he learned the bass. He's just an artist. He can just see his vision of art is phenomenal. My parents had me uh, start taking piano lessons at uh, around four or five. And I studied, but I had formal lessons playing classical music. You know, I started working professionally as a pianist in Chicago, playing trios, solos. When I did start playing drums, I used to practice each one, each instrument, four hours a day. Having the piano knowledge helped me the way I tuned my drums and the way I related to harmony, melody, and rhythm. So I have a penchant for writing compositions dedicated to artists who've uh, inspired me. So for the recording, I, I wrote especially uh, a composition that was inspired by Eric Satie. And, uh, you know, he wrote uh, a few Ginny Peeties, and uh, it's something about those pieces that just make you feel at peace and tranquil. So I sat down at the piano at home and just started with the bass notes and, and the chords. But I didn't want it to take off, you know, exactly. But I wanted to get the flavor, the essence of sati. My process of composing, um, Mostly I write at the piano. Sometimes I'll come up with titles and the composition will come as a result of the title. And usually I improvise, um, you know, melodies or chords and I find something that grabs me, then I'll move it around. I'm like a, a colorist on the drums. I think of myself more as a colorist, like a painter. So, you know, I can work within time, but I can also be free of it, and more elastic in that sense. And piano's the same way. Well, one of the reasons I chose play the Fazioli, which is the nine-foot grand we have here, was uh, actually through Herbie Hancock and uh, actually Jerry Allen. And both of them were raving about it. Actually, Jerry made a recording, I think a recording on Concord. I was on it with her, and she asked for a Fazioli, I think, for that recording. I decided to record with Nouvelle because uh, they came to me and said to me, like, if you do solo piano, I could. And, uh, and we're going to do it on vinyl, which was unique and intriguing. So it sort of gives me uh, uh, inspiration to uh, develop some new compositions, you know, one of the best musical endeavors I've, I've ever done.